Want to do a quick, quick review of the 511 holster shirt. Um, it's a shirt underneath. It's got a holster on either side. So right now I have a, a mag and I have a, a Kel-Tec P11, which is about the same size. Of, it's almost the exact same size as the Glock 26. Um, the shirt I modified, the top shirt I modified with, with buttons, with, excuse me, with stamps on, the, on these two buttons here. I have a video about that. But um, as you can tell, the pretty easy draw. Uh, I don't, you know, actually, it's, I don't really care for the fact that I modified the shirt uh, and added a, a piece of Velcro right here so that I, what I can do is if I put my full size pistol in there, it goes all the way to the bottom and uh, I can still get to the pistol, it still stays, the butt of the pistol stays up. When I put a subcompact in there, the reason I've added that little Velcro is so that it would keep it high so the, the draw is consistent, you know, it, it stays in the same spot. Um, I do know if you, you know, do some running around, things like that, a lot, it may still fall down, but it pretty much stays up there. The only other disadvantage with that is, I, I do like it where the butt of the pistol comes out a little bit, so that when, you, when I put my hand in, I can, I, can, I can get a decent grip on it. You'll notice that I'm, I'll do a couple of draws from it in just a minute, and, um, and just about every time I have to readjust my grip, um, if anyone else has these shirts, I've looked all over YouTube tube, and I haven't been able to find anything where, it show, where someone's doing a draw. Uh, I've only seen reviews where it's just desktop reviews of the shirt. And um, I kind of think a lot of these reviews are coming in as soon as they get the shirt. And all they're doing is just giving the points of the shirt. They're not giving an honest review. Uh, personally, this is not my favorite way of carrying. I've only carried, um, actually gone outside and gone and done. So I went to church uh, with it, I think it was last week. I haven't, I haven't felt comfortable enough. I haven't felt like I can get to the gun quick enough. I can get to the gun uh, smooth enough. And it just needs some practice. That may be part of it. You know, I may never be comfortable with this shirt. Uh, I hope I, I hope I am because I paid, I think I paid 45 for it plus shipping. But, um, so I do hope that I do, I do get comfortable with it so I can use it. And there's times when I probably would use it like, um, like jogging and things like that. If I'm wearing elastic, elastic shorts um, and I'm planning to go jogging, I might put on put it in uh, in a holster shirt like this. Uh, you know, the, the draw isn't isn't un, um, unreasonably slow, but I do feel that it may be slower than a, than a uh, draw from the waistband. Um, like I said, it does, even with this, with this way I do it, you know, what I do is the top one, it has Velcro here, so I put that Velcro all the way down, and then the bottom part of the Velcro I just touch to it so that it does stay up. Sometimes if the bottom one doesn't, I may not put on there at all. Uh, but I noticed that one one time I had, I was just wearing around the house, just trying to get comfortable with it, and um, the bottom one wasn't in. The bottom Velcro wasn't attached. The pistol was in the position, a similar position to what it is now, except the Velcro wasn't attached. It was probably like this, and um, which I wouldn't normally wear it like that anyway, because it kind of it bulges. I don't want that. So I do normally want it higher and further in. But I like it where the butt of the gun is, is a little bit visible, and so that when I when I draw for it, I can pull it out easily. Um, but I noticed that one time when it was further out, kind of like it is now, maybe it was something I don't recall exactly. Uh, I leaned over to pick something up, and it did start to fall out. It didn't completely come out of the holster, but it did um, it did definitely move quite a bit. So it's something you have to consider. Um, like I said, I did modify the shirt. I'm right-handed, so I only modified the left portion of the shirt. But what I did is, you may be able to see a little pinch there, um, and it's, you may not notice it, but right there's a little pinch is where I put an extra piece of Velcro on the inside so that the, so that it wouldn't fall the way down. So otherwise, if it if it's not there, let me break it out there. It'll go, it'll go all the way down. And when you go to make that draw, you have to reach your hand all the way in. And that, I just think that gives more opportunity for for someone to come in, your attacker to come in and pinch your arm. Uh, that's the main reason I don't like this shirt, is the fact that you you are, I believe, more vulnerable to to an attacker that's coming in close um, with a with, and that's the same with any under the arm holster. Um, you know, whenever you're you have it inside the waistband, you know, be it the strong strong side like I carry in the in the waistband, or um, the small of the back or or the spine. You can blade yourself and, and be able to defend off someone coming at you, and they can't pin your arm. So your back arm can't be pinned against you. With the with the holster shirt, even if you still blade yourself, 
it allows it, like if you were to come in and be able to grab it, it still puts your right hand, or if you're, if you're, if you're left handed, your left hand, your, your hand, your primary hand that's going for the weapon, even bladed away from an attacker, still gives them an opportunity to pinch you, or if they're able to come all the way in and be able to bear hug you or anything like that, your arm will, your, your, your off arm, off hand, will, could potentially pinch the gun and make it hard to get to. When if it's inside the inside the waistband, then it's then you can either do a typical draw like you see you see quite often, or if an attacker's coming at you like that, or if they're coming at you and even if they were to grab you, you'd still have potential to be able to, to do a retention, more of a one hand retention and be able to be able to still get off a shot. Um, and the chances of you know, even if they're to bear bear hug you and grab your at your upper arm, you can still you still have the dexterity there to to be able to move around a little bit more. Uh, the advantages of the shirt, so the so disadvantages are the draw, uh, but that draw is going to be about typical with with any um, underarm holster. The only disadvantage, in particular, over just a regular underarm holster, would be the fact that a regular underarm holster is going to hold the gun the exact same place every time. Um, this shirt doesn't allow that. You know, the the entry is the same, but you may have to reach in further. Something I do like is, I mean, this is a Full size um, XDM nine millimeter tactical, uh, or, and um, this is the EMs. I don't think they call it the tactical anymore. But it's the full size, the biggest gun that uh, biggest XDM you can get in a nine millimeter, and it does conceal decently. I do have another magazine for in this side, so you know it does make me look a little wider. There's a another 19 round magazine. Um, I'm already a big guy, so it adds a little width, and it might, it might show a little bit. Um, just have to kind of watch it, but you know, it's not, it's not too bad, and it allows you to, to carry a full gun. The only disadvantage is, you notice when on the, on, it's just the way I'm gripping the gun to be able to get to it. I can't get a full finger, a full firing grip. So um, I know that's, that's kind of a no-no. You want to get a full firing grip, so you don't have to readjust your grip. Something I just haven't been able to achieve with this whole with this holster shirt. Um, you know, this is the only video I've, I'm, I'm putting up today. It's the only video I've seen of anyone showing a draw from the holster show and their shirt. They're giving the 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 511 holster shirt good reviews, but I don't think it's a complete review if you can't show the shirt in a, in application. So for me, it's not my primary choice. Um, it's not what I what I prefer yet. Maybe one day it will be, but I, like I said, I don't like the fact that you have to cross the cross arm draw that gives that vulnerability. Um, I don't, I don't like that as much. You know, whenever I first was looking at the shirt, I, I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. And the reason I got the shirt is because I sit in the car a lot, I drive a lot, so um, the I was the reason I got the shirt was so that I, I'm the driver. So if you're at a pool, I can fire from retention here at an assailant that's coming through, the, you know, coming through the window or something. That's that was kind of my reasoning. And, um, but whenever I, I carry on the strong side, I just tilt my holster forward more and I can still get to it. It is, you know, I don't know which, which is faster. I'll, I'll hopefully get, I'll get an airsoft hopefully pretty soon and try both from firing out of my car, drawing on a target and firing out of my car. And I'll make sure I make a, a video of that as well. Um, so I'm not sure which I'll choose if say I was going on a long trip and knew I was going to be driving, you know, across the state of Texas or something like that. Um, right now, I've been carrying the inside the waistband and either either leaving the waistband tilted forward or, or stick it under my thigh. Um, both those seem to be fine. The thigh actually is, is I definitely think, is the faster because again, it's always right there and you don't have any chance of getting hung up on the um, on the seat belt. So, tell me what you think. If anyone else has any any um, any videos of or has any ideas on a better way to draw from the from a holster shirt, I'd really I'd really appreciate it. Uh, be able to do a video as well so I can see uh, maybe see a better way of doing it but thanks a lot guys